A strange story and great incident that occurred before the birth of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It started with Abraha al Ashram, who became the leader of Yemen before the king of Ethiopia, who had approved of building a church in Sana'a in Yemen. The Arabs were called to perform Hajj to this church instead of the Hajj to the sacred house at Mecca. The aim from this was to divert the business and earnings from Mecca to Yemen. Abraha presented this matter to the Ethiopian king, who was very happy with this. So Abraha built a church, a large church, and called it Qulais. A Qurashi man came and relieved himself in the church and stained its walls. Abraha was very angry with this, so he prepared an army to attack Mecca and destroy the Kaaba. He had with him 13 elephants. Amongst them was an elephant called Mahmud, who was the largest of them. They set out heading towards Mecca. Whoever stood in their way from the Arab neighborhoods were fought and defeated until they reached close to Mecca. Negotiations occurred between them and the senior of Mecca, Abdul Muttalib ibn Hashim, who was the grandfather of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. The negotiations ended with the agreement that Abraha would return the camels of Abdul Muttalib and then he would be left with the matter of the Kaaba. Abdul Muttalib ordered the men of Mecca to leave the country and take shelter at the mountain tops with their women and children, fearful of the transgressions which might be committed by the army against them. The army of Abraha moved and reached the valley of Mahsar. Between the army and the valley was a little distance, and they were followed by birds sent upon them with stones, each one of them the size of a chickpea or lentil. Whomever amongst the men the stone fell upon, it destroyed them all. And Abraha fled while his flesh was dropping on the way until he was destroyed in his attempt to return. This is from the great signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he granted victory from himself to those residing in the sacred land of the Haram and protected his house, the Kaaba.